Welcome to Electron Online. And the next special quality that we want to investigate for binomial distribution is what we call the variance. Remember, the variance on a normal distribution is how widely spaced apart the, the uh, values are, or closely spaced apart the values are. For a small variance, they're very tightly packed together, and your distribution is very narrow. And for a large variance, the distribution is much wider, and the values are much farther spread apart. So in the two cases that we have here, where we have a binomial distribution where n is equal to 8. We have 8 trials. In the first case, where the probability of success is equal to the probability of failure, which is equal to 0 0.5. In the second case, the probability of success is 0 0.3, which means the probability of failure, q, would be equal to 0 0.7. So how do we calculate the variance on a binomial distribution? Well, it's actually very straightforward. It's simply the number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of failure because 1 minus p, of course, is the probability of failure. So we'll go ahead and work that out in the, three, in the two examples here to see what that looks like. So in the first case, the uh, v sub m, the variance in the uh, number of successes, would be equal to n, which is 8, times p, which is 0 0.5, times 1 minus p, which is q, which is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 8, that would be equal to 2. So the variance here is 2. And so you can see that if 4 is the expected value, then 6, then the variance would be between 2 and 6. So that's a fairly large variance. In other words, the data is fairly widely spread apart. In the case where n is equal to 8, so we have 8 trials, and the probability of success is 0 0.3, the variance, v sub m, is equal to 8 times 0 0.3, times 0 0.7. So let's see what we get here with a calculator. So we have 8 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 and we get 1.68. <clears throat> which means the variance here is smaller, which means the points of success, the options of success, or the probability of success, I should say, is tighter together, so they're closer together. So the, the variance is 2.4. It goes all the way from 2.4 to 4.08, and then from 2.4 down to somewhere in the neighborhood of a little bit over 0.5. So you can see that the data is closer, tighter together in this case, and it's a little bit farther spread apart in that case. So that's what the variance indicates to you. So relative to the expected value, you can see how widely or how closely spaced the data points are. And in this case, the data points, of course, are the success points. So the number of successes, the probability of success, and how that is spread apart. So that is how we look at the variance for a binomial distribution.